Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I really mean this. I want to thank you, everyone in this room, for your support of Grocery Aid. Because without the services Grocery Aid offer, I would not be here with you today. Like every other person that goes through a bout of mental illness, you never really see it coming. It creeps upon you, and suddenly there seems to be no way back, and you're ill. I'm here today because of the support of my wife, Eleanor, who sat over there and was with me this evening, and as usual, supporting me, my family, and my friends and colleagues at Costcutter. But, especially because of the one-to-one -one anonymous counselling I received from Grocery Aid, who I still can't thank enough. I made the decision to share my story after learning that two-thirds of all suicides are men. It is us men that suffer in silence. We don't emote, we don't share our problems. We are taught from birth not to make a fuss, not to cry, but to hide our feelings and emotions. We carry this with us into adult life, and for some, this continues until we crash and burn, and there is no way back. But I was also thinking, would I have made this decision to share my story in the 1990s, when I was in my 30s and working in the city? Probably not. Would I have made the same decision today if I'd been younger in my 30s and 40s? Probably not. Why? Because I would have been scared about the possible repercussions of having my very private struggle shared and how it would have been perceived with the wide world. Although we've come a long way in the last 20 years, the stigma associated with mental illness means that there are many of us, men and women, who still suffer in silence until the inevitable happens. More needs to be done across ours and other industries to help those of us that suffer. Can I ask a question to the senior managers and execs and all colleagues here this evening? When did you last take time out to speak to a colleague who had returned to work after a period away with mental illness? I hope my story can help fellow sufferers but just as importantly, also inspire you, our managers and executives and colleagues in the industry, to understand that a mental illness is an illness like any other. And with the right help, we can recover and still be the same people you are friends with, the same colleagues you hired and worked with, and to our husbands, wives and partners, the same men and women that you fell in love with. Finally, one last thank you to Grocery Aid. Steve and his team do a fabulous job supporting all of us in this industry. They work tirelessly to improve their already fantastic services, and importantly, they make their services easy for us to access. No forms to fill in triplicate, no means testing, no life stories. All you need to be is brave enough to pick up the phone and call them. Thank you for listening. Please be kind to each other. Thank you. Thank you.